Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to continue the assembly of the 360 Magnum in my Dakota RT. Alright, I've already set the lifters in, in the dog bones. The only note I have on the lifters is that this hole right here goes up towards the center. Now my reason, or the reason I think they do that is though you're feeding oil from the bottom side, so some people think you put it this way because it's more direct. There's a channel all the way around. The oil's going to get there. I think the reason for putting it at the top is that when it pushes oil in all the way around it's pushing all the air out too I think it's to get rid of all the air and if you put it this way you could have an air pocket here now I'm sure eventually it may get rid of it but it just makes more sense so put them in this way alright I got my three bolts sitting here and this guy make sure before you put the spider in make sure you've got the right bolts I had to hunt down until I find I found three bolts the right length that matched because these these holes go all the way through so if you're not paying attention you get a bolt too long especially if you're one of those guys that's impact happy you're not even gonna know with a ratchet you might feel that it's it's snugging up before it touches the spider and figure it out but if you're an impact guy you're, you're just gonna wreck this thing so anyway the holes go all the way through so if you put too long of a bolt you're gonna send the cam bearing you're gonna crush the cam with it so when you fire it up it's not gonna last very long so I'll get this thing set on here and tightened up and we'll move on all right spiders tightened down I've rolled this thing around till it's on a compression stroke the intermediate shaft back here this is supposed to point at number one so it's there it's ready to go now I can slap head gaskets on, slap the heads on. Heads are torqued to 115. I did them with just oil, no ARP lube. Uh, I've set the push rods in. I'm going to set this thing in time lapse and get this thing done. There's not a whole lot left to explain, but I I'm really excited to get the truck together, so I'm just going to work. trains all in and tight. These are Harlan Sharp 17s. I've got about I think it was 533 or 542 right in that range. About 533 lift with the the comp cam and the Harlan Sharp 17s. I'll put the part number for the cam in the description and I guess I'll put the a link to those too. But I gotta slap valve covers on then I gotta run to the store because I forgot I broke the crank sensor when I pulled the engine out. about to put the intake on I like these the rubber is steel reinforced I only really put just a little bit in the corner and then that's all I, I do I used to if it didn't have this I'd throw it away and just use all RTV but I think these are good so I'm gonna glue this thing up I'm gonna put a little bit right here I'm not gonna put any on the intake side because we're gonna do an intake test here in a month and 
I'm hoping the gaskets will just stay and I'll just reuse them over and over again until we're done and figure out what intake manifold we want to run. So anyway, I'm going to get this intake manifold on. Alright, we're about to put the intake on. I like these. The rubber was steel reinforced. I only really put just a little bit in the corner and then that's all I, I do. I used to, if it didn't have this, I'd throw it away and just use all RTV. But I think these are good. So I'm going to glue this thing up. I'm going to put a little bit right here. I'm not going to put any on the intake side because we're going to do an intake test here in a month. And I'm hoping the gaskets will just stay and I'll just reuse them over and over again until we're done and figure out what intake manifold we want to run. So anyway, I'm going to get this intake manifold on. Sorry if you guys wanted to see some of that putting it together. There were some uh, trials and tribulations. It started on the first crank, but when I pulled it out, I broke a crank sensor, which was all right. It happens. I thought, ah, I'll pull it out. It won't break. I broke it. So I went to the parts store, and I've had this problem before, just not on this particular model. But I bought a, uh, my choices were Master Pro or Standard at the time, because I needed it right then, because I was putting the engine in. So I got a Standard. So when I got it running, it would run really good, and then start going to crap, and I'm I'm chasing a tune, thinking I've done something wrong. What have I done wrong? And then I come in the next day, and it runs great, and then it runs like crap. And I didn't take very long to figure out when it gets hot, it starts running like crap. I finally threw a cam sensor code, so I was like, it said cam sensor signal lost. And I was like, all right, this is going to be it. Wasn't it? Didn't help. Still ran great until it got warm, and then it started crapping out. So. I was like, there's only so many things that can be heat related. So I had the old crank sensor. It was just partially broke where the plastic hits the, the metal bracket. So I put it on, it held pretty good, and then I just zip tied it to it to try it. Runs like a top. Put the tune back in, well, the one I first put in, run great. I've been tweaking from there, I'll drive it to work tomorrow and get this thing dialed in. But the batteries were dead on the camera before and I was really just a little aggravated. I just wanted to get the truck together and get it done so I'm sorry if you missed anything that you might deem important I don't think it was I put bolts and holes so it's together runs freaking great I'm happy I don't know what it's gonna make it's it's got a I'll put the comp camps number below because I forgot 276 dash something dash nine on I'll put that below so we're about 10 3 to 10 and a half compression I'll put the cam number below. It's got crap eBay headers and a modified kegger. So if you're watching this or if you care, you know, whatever you think horsepower wise it's gonna make, we'll be getting to that hopefully soon. I'm still getting stuff together to do the intake manifold testing. Hopefully I get to do that, that's the plan. But for right now, guess what you think it's making right now with that setup. Anyway, if everyone hung in there, thank you for watching. If you're new, please like and subscribe.